Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Meeple Preacher. Today we're going to look at some of these upcoming board games in 2022. There's a lot coming out, but there's a few I have my eyes on. So let me give you my top five. So I don't know if these are coming to Kickstarter or they're just coming straight out. Um, on Board Game Geek, these are slated for 2022. They have the 2022 right next to their name. So I figure they're coming out this year. I'm not exactly sure how it goes. I haven't been following them very closely the past few years to know exactly if that's true or not. So just take it with a grain of salt. Um, but these are the games that I'm looking forward to, to figuring out more and, and even playing these. Hey, future Levi here. Um, I made this video before this announcement came out, but Marvel Zombies. That's going to be probably my most anticipated game of this year. But I made this video before I heard about this announcement. This one is coming to Kickstarter and probably won't be able to see it for another three years or so. But Marvel Zombies is something I'm really looking forward to this year. But let's get into the video, my top five. So number five is a game called Skyrise. Skyrise. Now, this game is kind of a remake of an older game called Metropolis, but it's kind of said that the mechanisms are kind of similar. It's just upgraded look and uh, upgraded name, and it just looks really pretty, um, and there's a bidding aspect, and you're trying to build up these buildings and uh, bidding on plots and just kind of a race to get, I guess, the most points and everything. I, it just looks really interesting to me. So that's my number five, Skyrise. So number four is a game that is in a group of series that I haven't played any of them in, but their previous game I really want to try because it looks really interesting. The game I'm talking about is Bardwood Grove, Bardwood Grove, and the previous game in this line or in this universe they've created is uh, Merchant's Cove, where everybody has an asymmetrical um, player, I'm not going to say player power, but each player has a specific mechanism that they're using in the game to do the game. But this one... Um, it still says you all have asymmetrical powers, but it doesn't. it's not on the mechanism side like Merchant's Grove was. It's a little different. But what, what makes this game interesting to me is uh, these little hidden secrets it's talking about. I'm going to read off a little bit of the description. It says, as the game is played and decisions are made, players will unlock content and evolve the game naturally. An achievement system tied to the choices and performances of each game will guide players through a series of unlockable content. As new content emerges through each game, the game will provide players with new content that is based on unique outcomes and player decisions. I'm always in for uh, my decisions having consequences. And I like playing video games like that, and I really will probably enjoy board games that do that. Some legacy games kind of do that, but this doesn't seem like a legacy game. You're just kind of unlocking more things as you're going along. I don't know. It might be a legacy game. It doesn't really say. But it's about building up card decks and all that, and I'm always into um, uh, card games and uh, deck building, I mean. So, I'm really looking forward to this one. So my number four, Bardwood Grove. Alright, 
got my number three is a game called Fire and Stone. This is kind of set in the Stone Age um, civilization, and you're pretty much exploring the land, seeing what you can find, trying to build up your village. It just, um, I really enjoy exploration in board games and finding new places and new things. And um, I really like civilization games where you're kind of building up your civilization and unlocking new abilities and, and tools and all that. And that's what this whole game kind of seems like. And I just, um, it looks really fun. I really want to try it. And that's Fire and Stone. All right, my number two game that I really want to check out this year. Um, I'm going to mispronounce this name, but forgive me. Is Anunnaki. 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 How would you guys say it? How to pronounce it? I don't know. Um, but Anunnaki, Dawn of the Gods. That's my number two. This game looks... Um, it sounds like it's one of those massive miniatures game exploration, but this, um, from the pictures, it kind of seems like it's toned down, um, which will probably bring the cost down a lot, which I would enjoy. Um, but it, it seems like it's going to be very deep content because um, it's one of these 4X games. If you don't know what 4X um, is, it's explore, expand, exploit, and exterminate. So you're going against everybody. You're exploring, you're tr expanding, um, and just fighting to the bitter end. But this game seems really interesting because... Essentially, you are an alien race. I think you're all the same alien race, and you're all kind of coming to Earth to inhabit it and to um, take over different parts. But each person has a different kind of god that they follow, and they're trying to use their power, uh, different player power, to win the game to explore, exploit, expand, and all that, exterminate. But it's just a really interesting concept. You're, you're an alien race coming to Earth and trying to conquer. Um, usually it's you're on the opposite end where you're fighting against these aliens that are trying to come and take over, but you this time are the aliens coming to take over. So it just seems really cool, and um, I'm really interested to see how this game plays. Uh, so that number two... Anunnaki, Dawn of the Gods. All right, my number one game that I'm looking forward to this year is called Revive. I just, for starters, I really love that name, Revive. This sounds really cool. Um, let me read you the description because this is my number one game I'm looking forward to, so I really want you guys to get a good picture of what this game is all about. Revive Civilization. 5,000 years after everything was destroyed, explore the frosted lands and harness its resources. Recruit local inhabitants to your tribe. Build factories and machines and revive lost locations and relearn your tribe's forgotten abilities. Revive is a civilization game for one to five players with no fighting or direct conflict. Each player plays one of six unique tribes, each with their own abilities, technologies, and goals. The game has quick rounds, but lots of possible strategies. Each player builds their own deck of multi-use cards representing your civil your citizens on your turn you play two cards each card can be played in one of several slots around your player board either to produce resources or to use this citizen's special ability you can upgrade and customize 
each of your slots to improve the effect of the cards played there. Some cards allow you to explore new lands, build factories, or revive ancient locations. Exploring lands reveal new territories. Building factories harness the power of the surrounding terrains, advancing your technologies in three different categories. As you advance on the three technology paths, you unlock machines that can be used for various effects. Reviving ancient locations is one of the main goals in the game. When you revive a location, you relearn one of your tribe's abilities and gain knowledge that can be used to power your machines. Reviving the largest locations provide a lot of points, but each location requires that you meet certain criteria. These requirements are randomized and function as goals you need to work towards during each game. The game ends when a certain number of score tiles have been cl claimed. Score tiles are mainly cl claimed by reviving major locations, but also by building factories, exploring lands, and completing your tribe's unique missions. So it, it sounds awesome. Like for starters, one to five players, uh, I'm usually playing games solo. Um, a lot of the times, rarely, I can find others just to play with me. Um, so being able to play this solo is awesome. And two, there's not really any fighting or direct conflict. And uh, I can take fighting, take it or leave it. I don't, I don't really care. So having no fighting, okay. I have different goals. That's, all, that's awesome. Um, and then... Building your own deck of multi-use cards. I love deck building. So that's another thing that's going to be awesome in this. And then this really cool concept where you're reviving these ruins to relearn what that civilization had to, to offer. So it's just a really cool concept of like you're building this civilization back up and you're exploring some more expo exploration games. So this game just looks really fun. Um, that's my number one, Revive. So what are you, some of your games you're looking forward to this year? Do you guys know of any more that I didn't cover here? Uh, I know there's a few other big ones that I didn't mention. Uh, maybe I'm not into them or I just don't know about them. So let me know in the comments what you think. And until next time, have a good one.